Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I am back with an awesome new budget drone. Now the special thing about this drone is it can fly upside down. Yes you heard me right. This drone has a new mode called as the inverted flight mode. That sounds so cool guys I can't wait to check it out. It's made by Isheen and the model is H8S. It says inverted flight and you've got a picture of the drone here. The good thing is this drone also has propeller guards on it so it's beginner friendly and fully crash proof out of the box. Let's check out its features. It's a 2.4 GHz toy drone, can perform 360 degree flips and rolls, has LED lights, 6 axis gyro, headless mode, 1 key return to home and inverted flight mode. So these were all of its features. This drone comes in two colors, green and blue. I've got the blue color model. So let's get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut this tape over here. I want to thank Isheen for sending me this product for review purpose. So here we go. The Isheen H8S comes in this sort of box packing. Let me take it out. So here is the drone guys, Isheen H8S. It's a mid-sized drone, not that small. You've got the Isheen branding. The body looks like it's made of plastic, feels very lightweight. The propeller guards are not removable, they're built in the body. Alright guys, we'll check out the drone in a moment. We'll keep it aside and see what else do we have in the box. We have a remote control over here. It's got lots of buttons on it. It's completely made of plastic and feels light in the hand. Along with that you get a USB cable for charging the drone's battery, a screwdriver to open up the battery compartment on the remote, two pairs of extra propellers in case you damage the original ones, and lots of paperwork. You've got manuals in different languages, just make sure to read them for all the info on the product. So these were all the items we got in the box, now let's check out the drone. The Isheen H8S is a mid-sized quadcopter, the build quality looks ok, not the best I've seen. It weighs only 20 grams, you've got the Isheen logo here. The body is made of plastic, these are its propellers, they look durable, but the guards don't seem to be that strong. Let me show you the battery. This drone has a 150mAh battery and this is how it looks like. There's no power on or switch on it, you just need to insert the battery's terminal in this port over here to power on the drone. The H8S also has these cushion type landing foot pads for soft landing. So that was our overview on the design and the build quality of the H8S. Now let me show you the remote control. The RC is quite compact. You've got two analog sticks on it. The left one controls the altitude and the right one controls the direction you want to fly the drone in. The RC has lots of buttons on it. This is the power on off slide switch. Power LED indicator. This is headless mode and one key return. High and low speed switch buttons. Forward and backward trim buttons. And left and right trim buttons. You also have two buttons at the top. The right bumper triggers 360 degree flips and rolls and the left button triggers the inverted flight mode. So these were all the buttons on it. Now let me show you the battery compartment. You need to insert three AAA batteries to power on the remote. So that was our overview on the remote control. Now what I'll do is, I'll just power it on and show you. You just need to plug in the battery to power it on. There you go, you can see the LEDs flashing. You've got two red LEDs on the front and two blue LEDs on the rear end. Now let's pair it with the remote, fly the drone and see how it performs. Alright guys, I've paired the remote with the drone. Now let's take off and see how it flies. Okay, that was smooth. The Isheen H8S doesn't have altitude hold. That means you need to keep adjusting the altitude. But again, let me tell you, for this price, there is no drone that comes with altitude hold. It's quite easy to fly this drone guys. You just need a little bit of practice. The drone responds quickly to my commands. There is very minimum latency. The remote also feels comfortable to hold in the hand. It's a tiny drone but it does make a lot of noise. It would have been very nice if this tiny drone also had a camera on it. Talking about the stability, it's good but not the best I've seen. Since there is no VPS on it, it cannot hover at a single spot. But considering the price, it's doing a good job. You can't complain much for the price. But once you get a hold on it, you'll definitely enjoy flying this drone. It's a very fun to fly quadcopter. And on top of that, it also has propeller guards, so even if you crash it into a wall, there is nothing to worry about. The drone is quite durable. Now let's check out that new inverted flight mode. You can toggle that easily just by pressing the left bumper on the remote. There you go. Holy smokes guys, you seen this? This drone is flying upside down. Just look at it. That is so awesome. I've never seen any drone do like this before. Okay, so one thing I've observed while flying in this mode is, the propeller sound has doubled. 
It makes more sound than before. But other than that, the flight stability, the control over the drone, everything remains the same. That is so cool, I'm having so much fun flying it. Alright guys, I've got an interesting announcement. If this video crosses a thousand likes, I'll give away this drone to one of my lucky subscribers. So let's see if we can smash a thousand likes on this video. And trust me guys, this is the most interesting and fun to fly drone I've seen in this price range. It can also perform 360 degree flips and rolls. We'll try them out in a moment. This drone also has headless mode on it and it was working well. That mode is very useful especially for beginners. And it also has one key return to home. The one key return to home function was working but it was not that accurate. The company says it has an RC distance of 30 meters and I had no problem flying it till that range. This drone is mostly suitable for indoor flying. You can fly it in outdoors also. But I'd recommend you not to fly it on windy days. As it's very lightweight, it may get drifted away due to wind. The battery life was also okay. On an average, I was getting around 5 to 6 minutes of flight time on a full charge. And charging the drone from 0 to 100 took about 45 minutes. Now let's try some flips and rolls. It can perform 360 degree flips and rolls. But I'd recommend you guys to fly to a good altitude before performing them as the drone was losing some altitude. On the overall it's a good quadcopter, I had a great time flying this drone. So that was my video on the Ishin H8S drone. It's an awesome budget drone, very easy to fly, it's also beginner friendly and has lots of features. The best part is, it can also fly upside down. The only thing I felt that was missing is, altitude hold and a camera. That would have made it even more awesome. It costs about 1300 rupees. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.